Hello and welcome to week six of Mindful Mondays and the last of, of our six sessions. Now over the past five weeks I wanted to give you some idea of the practice of mindfulness, various different ways of approaching it. And um, to give you some simple exercises which you can do at home or at any point during the day. We've looked at the ways we turn our attention to simple experiences of the body. We've looked at the exercises of taking the opportunity to, for using different moments of the day. Uh, example being the boiling a kettle could be different activities of the day. To focus on the experience, to absorb ourselves fully into the presence of, of being there in that moment. So in that way, I've introduced the idea of mindfulness as being a habit, uh, a different sort of habit than the habits we, we often have, the habit of being busy. This is a habit of being in the moment, a habit of being rather than doing, of being rather than being than doing the autopilot sort of life, living that sort of speedy way. And, and today I wanted to take this a little bit further and to um, examine our habits of thought. Um, quite often we spend a lot of our time in a sort of rather negative spiral of critical thoughts of ourselves and people around us. And we often believe that being critical of ourselves and, and others keeps us and perhaps them on our toes, it gets more done. We become more efficient. However, research shows that the opposite is true. Our research shows that people who practice self-kindness were better able to acknowledge their own mistakes, their imperfections and negative actions, and to learn from these. And in doing that, to change for the better. More, more able to change for the better than those people who were continuously criticising themselves or on their case, as it were, on, and on the case of those people around them. So allowing oneself to be aware of one's frailties, being aware of one's uh, difficulties or struggles, uh, actually becomes, becomes part of growing a sort of robust sense of self and a robust ability to uh, manage um, uh, emotionally difficult uh, experiences without being overwhelmed by them. So this is a quite a, a paradoxical thing. The more kind we are to ourselves, the more effective we are, the more efficient we are, may, we may say, in managing our emotional life. And one of the things, again, that is most noticeable is that quite often we find it much more able to practice self-kindness by practicing it as a form of kindness to others. It's easier sometimes for us to be kinder to others than ourselves. Uh, we can extend compassion to our friends and our family in a way that often we, we find difficult to, to extend to ourselves. So we can approach this self-compassion, self-kindness by taking as our object, our, our, our place of attention, um, say, for example, a friend or someone we care about a lot, a um, member of our family or someone that we're thoughtful about and concerned about. So what we're going to do for a few moments today is just take this experience of kindness to others and extend it to ourselves. So again, if you can settle in your chair and allow yourself to feel the weight of yourself pressing down, the sense of gravity, your feet on the floor, the feet in your shoes, the weight of your feet in your shoes, the weight of your, your bottom on, in the chair and your back resting against the, the, the chair you're in. If you're lying down, you'll feel the weight of you spread across the surface you're lying on. Allow yourself to bring your attention to your breathing and settle there. Allow yourself to smooth your forehead. Become aware
grab the creases in your forehead and rest it. Rest your tongue in your mouth. Half close your eyes or close your eyes, whichever feels comfortable. And when you're ready, bring your attention to a friend or someone that you care about. And allow yourself to just picture them. Allow yourself to feel the feeling you feel towards them. The sense of response you have to them when you're with them. The pleasure you might have in being with them. The way they treat you that gives you pleasure. The way you treat them that give you pleasure. Allow yourself to be aware of that. Be aware of that feeling. Maybe you're experiencing it in your chest or maybe in your stomach. Or maybe it's just a, a pleasurable idea in your mind. Feel the sense of non-judgmental warmth you feel towards them. And then, when you're ready, bring that same attention, that same feeling towards yourself. Allow yourself to feel a non-judgmental warmth towards yourself. How does that feel? Do you notice how that feels? Is it easy? Is it difficult? Is it sticky? Do you find it hard to do that? That's okay, but just notice that. Again, bringing your friend to mind. Think of the warmth towards them. And then turn that warmth towards yourself. Allow yourself to feel bathed by that warmth. you and they both live in the same world, both have the same struggles, both have the same way of approaching things maybe, but on this occasion allow yourself to feel the same feelings you feel towards them, towards yourself. And just settle for a moment with those feelings. And be aware that you can do this at any point of the day, any time. Allow yourself to sit with these moments, feeling the warmth you feel towards them, directed towards yourself. when you're ready, bring your thoughts, your feelings back to your body, back to your breathing, back to this room, back to this moment, feeling the weight of your body in the chair or wherever you're lying on. Bring it slowly back to the present moment and then open your eyes. What we've done here is a simple exercise of allowing yourself to feel warmth towards yourself. Giving yourself a moment of rest, giving yourself a moment of peace and allowing yourself to feel that warmth that you may feel towards others towards yourself. And in doing that, accepting ourselves just as we are at this moment, with all our imperfections, just accepting ourselves as we are. So that concludes the 
practice of mindfulness which I wanted to introduce in these six sessions. I hope you found them interesting um, and there's a number of books which um, you can see below and uh, perhaps you could look them up and if there are any queries or any questions at any point then do get in touch with me through um, the, this website here and um, I look forward to um, speaking to you one day soon. In the meantime, take care, stay well and look after yourselves. Be kind. Bye-bye.